Hello and welcome to another episode of the Heavy Metal Gamer Show, and this time do I have a review for you. That's right, Comic Zone on the Sega Genesis. Now before I get too far in this review, this was actually not going to be reviewed this soon. I recently had my PC crash and my stupid ass didn't save my reviews I had done already to an external hard drive. So I lost them. And my intro, that's gone too. That is why I have a new intro. What a stupid ass I am. Or my computer's a stupid ass. Either way, I am the one running it. You know like they say, don't blame the machine, blame the operator. Comic Zone was developed by Sega Technical Institute and published by Sega. So technically it was published and developed by Sega. It was released on the Sega Genesis in 1995. It was also released on the PC, both Windows and MS-DOS operating systems, and it was later released on the Game Boy Advance. Because the PC version and the Game Boy Advance version of the game are pretty much the same thing, I'm just going to stick to the Sega Genesis version. But at a later time, maybe I'll do a Let's Play or a Retrospective or whatever, whatever, whatever. On top of that, the Sega Genesis version is the one I know the most. Matter of fact, I got this game for Christmas in 1995, I was 7 years old, and I ended up getting a lot of Sega Genesis games that year. Comic Zone is a 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up that is set in the style of a comic book. You play in the panels of the comic. Each level is two pages, and there are secret areas as well. Pretty much the game is a comic book you can actually play. The story behind Comic Zone goes like this. You play as a starving artist known as Sketch Turner. He is working on his newest comic book titled Comic Zone. The inspiration to this comic is from Sketch's dreams and nightmares. One night during a thunderstorm, Sketch is working on his comic when a lightning bolt strikes a panel of his comic and the main villain Mortis, a powerful mutant, escapes the comic book and tries to kill Sketch. Mortis decides to send Sketch into the world of his own comic book and draw enemies in places that will try to kill him. Inside the comic book, you meet General Cyan, who believes Sketch is a superhero. Your goal is to try and save the post-apocalyptic world that Mortis has wreaked havoc on. Sounds pretty interesting, right? Then again, I can hear someone saying, This game sucks, it's not realistic. Lightning hitting a comic book? That's not real, it would just catch on fire. Don't you love it when modern gamers bring up realism? Whatever happened to having an imagination? Now you do have a partner to help you out in Comic Zone, and it's not a human. It's actually a pet rat named Roadkill. You are probably thinking, really? A pet rat? I bet he's useless as all hell. No, he's actually not. Roadkill will actually help you out in spots, finding secrets in a level, especially items, and so on, which is really cool. Not only that, he can help with fighting against enemies. There are three episodes in Comic Zone, which would make up the levels, and like I mentioned earlier, there are two pages each, and there is a boss battle at the end of the second page, which some can be really easy, and some can be a bit tough. You just have to time your hits just right. The graphics for Comic Zone are very good, possibly one of the nicest looking 16-bit games I have ever played. The characters and enemies are very well detailed, same with the level designs. Very colorful, and it fits the game perfectly. What makes this game really unique is the comic book bubbles, and some of the stuff they say it can be actually quite entertaining. You know, for someone like myself who is not big into comic books, if this was made into a comic book, I could possibly be a fan of it, especially if it kept going farther and farther than just the game. I don't know if there's an actual comic book out there, but if there is, maybe I'll have to check it out. One thing I really like is how you can hold three power-ups and weapons at a time. Although if you have roadkill, that leaves you with two. So you might have to make a decision on what you want to use or keep. The power-ups and weapons are great in this game, from grenades, explosives, knives, and more. They will really help you out a lot, especially when you have multiple enemies on screen or if you're in a boss battle. Another thing I really enjoy in this game is the destructible environment. Boxes with explosives, regular boxes, and more. I think that is really cool. And hell, you can find some secret areas just by breaking a box or breaking through a wall. Although you do lose a little bit of health when you do that. So you have to time your hits just right. Not only that, if you're holding down the A button, you will throw a paper airplane. And that will also affect your health as well. But it's very effective against enemies. Or if you have to use it in a section to take out explosives or part of the environment that will hurt you if you're not careful. There are some puzzles in this game. And it might take a little bit to figure out. I know the first few times I ever played this game, it took me a long while to figure it out. But it's cool to have some puzzles. And looking back, they can be pretty easy. But then again, I have spent a lot of time on Comic Zone. I used to play this game all the time when I was a kid. 
The music and sound effects are very good. The music is very well composed and put together. I think it's some of the best music on the Sega Genesis. When it comes to sound effects, they are just as good. And there are even voiceovers. Not a ton, but some here and there, which is really nice. And it's in good quality. Nothing I can really complain about. There are a variety of enemies in each level, and some you will see repeated throughout the game. Some of the enemies can be a real pain to get by, too. Especially the enemy Sticks, which I'm guessing is named after the hard rock classic rock band. I don't know 100% on that, but the way it's spelled, I'm guessing so. This enemy can be a real bitch, but there are ways to take him out easily. The controls for Comic Zone are pretty good, although I do have a few complaints. The button layout can be a little bit on the annoying side, especially when you're going through the item inventory, although after a while, you can get the hang of it. It just takes some time. The controls are quite responsive, which is a good thing. Now I have decided to try something new with my reviews. I am no longer doing the number rating system. I have decided to drop that. With that being said, Comic Zone is an amazing game, especially for its time. And even to this day, I think it's a great game and a lot of fun to play. I am glad I got this game when I did. It's not an easy game and it can be tough at times, but it's beatable. It's not one of those games where you think it's gonna be completely hard and unbeatable. You can actually beat this game. Comic Zone was praised for the graphics, gameplay, and music from a lot of gaming magazines, but they also criticized it for being too hard and too short and being too late into the Sega Genesis lifespan. Too hard and too short? Wait a minute, the game is not impossible, like I said. I myself can be horrible at games and still manage to beat the game. Not only that, get close to the end every time I've played it. Too short? That's debatable. Would it be nice to see a few more episodes? Yes, it would be very nice. But at the same time, the pages of each episode are somewhat long. I find it funny that people were complaining about games being too short then, but praise it now. I mean, there are a lot of modern games out there that are very short, and a lot of these gaming sites praise them as the second coming of video games and how they're going to be classics. Either way, I really enjoy Comic Zone. It's a classic to me, and it does have a cult following. Sadly, no sequel was made, which kind of sucks because they could have done something great with this game. It would be cool to see a new game. Don't know how it would work in 3D, but if it was in 2D, I'm sure I would enjoy it. If you want to check out Comic Zone, first of all, I highly recommend it, especially if you are into beat-em-ups. You can probably find this game at a local game store that sells used games or on eBay. Matter of fact, I've seen it on eBay at a variety of prices from 99 cents to $25. Some are complete in box, some are just the cartridge. The game can also be found on the Wii Virtual Console and Xbox Live Arcade. Not only that, it was released on the Sonic Ultimate Genesis Collection compilation that is on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. And it can be found on the PlayStation Network on the Sega Vintage Collection. Not only that, it can be found on Steam, or at one point it was on Steam. I'm sure it still can be found on there, and it's probably for a cheap price. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review of Comic Zone. As you can see, there's a few small changes to my review. There might be more, and I hope it works out in the future. Thank you for watching, and thank you for subscribing. That was a mess up. Hello and... <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I can't do this damn shit anymore. There's a chick on TV that <laughs> looks like she's doing deep breaths. Oh! Hello and welcome! <laughs> I can't do this anymore. That didn't make no sense. That don't make no sense! And was later released on the Sega. It's already been released on the Sega. <laughs> Wreaking havoc. I did that in the bathroom about 20 minutes ago. You playing that damn game on the idiot box? Quit playing that damn idiot box. All that thing does is morph your mind. <laughs> comic zone. The game where you have a comic in the zone. A cow zone. Who cares? Why did I even come back? Why didn't I just quit a long time ago? Comic zone for the Sega Genesis. I almost said Sega Dreamcast. I don't know why. There should have been a game on the Sega Dreamcast. A sequel would have been really nice. If that damn train makes any bit of noise, I'm gonna snap. I'm gonna snap like a damn rubber band. Just snap! <laughs> Tater tots. Comic Zone on the Sega Genesis. Who cares? 
If you don't care, you should be punched in the face. What's with me punching people in the face? I'm sitting here, I got Facebook open in one window, and my script in the other. I like when people say, You should do a review on Scripted! If you don't, you don't know shit about video games. There's a reason I do a script. I'll frickin' kill ya! I can't believe my computer did this to me! I don't know what the hell's going on! Why am I yelling? Now there's gonna be some changes to this channel. Why am I laughing at this stupid crap? Now there's gonna be some changes here in my reviews. I am not even reviewing anymore. I quit. And if you don't like it... I'm just kidding, I'm not quitting. I'm sure somebody out there's like, Oh, please quit, please quit. We don't need any more of these reviewers on YouTube. Habba, 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 habba. Whatever habba means. Habba hotel, isn't it habbo hotel? People going on that crap. I should download that program and go in there and troll people. I remember back in the day. Well, it's not back in the day. I was listening to Computer Gaming World Magazine, also Games for Windows Magazine. You can't even say magazine, right? This is why reviews are scripted. Because stupid moves like that. Or stupid things like that. Anyways, back to the whole topic. A little quick story here. <laughs> I can't even do it. Can't even tell a story. Oh, I used to listen to Computer Gaming World Games for Windows podcast after the magazine kind of just went away. And Sean Elliott, who used to work at 1up.com, was on there telling a story how people were going on uh, Habo Hotel, I think it is, or Habo Hotel, and they were trolling and griefing and all that stuff. It actually got it shut down or something like that. Oh, I love those stories that were on that podcast. I wish I could find a way to download them, because 1up is about half dead now. IGN bought out 1up or whatever it was, and they're just plowing them. They're just tailpiping them, so that's sad. 1up.com was one of the few big gaming sites I could tolerate. All right, enough of this crap. Enjoy your bloopers, enjoy your review, and all that cool crap. Shit. Poop. Yeah.